Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got my Chevy K1500 out again. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to replace some old, stubborn, worn out lug nuts. Uh, they're all rusted and nasty. So here's just one of the four wheels with the lug nuts. Uh, as you can see, I've only got three caps on there plus these are like really 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 rusted so uh, I've purchased new lug nuts and caps for the whole truck which I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to replace um, let me show you what you need all right so it's pretty simple uh, I've got a torque wrench you can use a brake bar or a torque wrench um, you you're gonna need a jack stand um, I've got some anti-seize, which might be real handy. Um, the socket you're going to need is a 7 8 socket. And then PB Blaster, you may need it if the lug nuts are really, really, really stuck and corroded. Um, I've got my new lug nuts and also my new caps, which I'll link everything in the description so you can kind of see what you need. I also got a shop towel for the NICs and a jack. Alright, so I've got my jack positioned underneath. I went ahead and went right on the axle. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. It's literally right on the axle. Uh, some people will go right on the pumpkin, but I prefer just go to right on the axle as close to the wheel as possible. Um, so I'll demonstrate how you want to do this, but you basically just want to lift your tire up a little bit and take, take a little bit of the weight off and then start loosening the lug nuts. All right. So for this next step, you'll want, you'll want your torque wrench with your socket and, um, See if it can focus here. Sorry, it's really bad. There we go. You'll want your 7 8 socket with your torque wrench. Um, all you want to do is, as you're jacking, you don't want it to be all the way off the ground. You just want it to barely be touching the ground. Okay, you'll see your tire have a little belly and then you can go over there and start pulling them off. All right, so take the caps off, then just break your lug nuts loose. Okay, uh, now we want to go ahead. Let me zoom it out. There we go. Now you can go ahead and jack it up and get it off the ground. Doesn't have to be real high. Okay, now we're prepared to put the jack stand under it. I 
I just went ahead and put the jack stand there. So the jack is going to stay there, but the jack stand is if the jack fails. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and finish taking them off. All right, so let's see if that tire's gonna stay. We've got those all off there. And now the most important part, you wanna make sure that this doesn't have any corrosion on it around here. If so, get a wire brush and clean it up real good. And then as you can see, the lug nuts Someone has already put anti-seize on these lug nuts, so probably one of the tire shops. So I've got tires real recently. So don't know that we really need that. I mean, if your threads are real rusted and real bad, then put it, but they're not. So I'm good to just put the new lug nuts on. Well, you're at it. It's a good time to kind of check your brakes. Um, all I did was slide this drum off so uh, I'm just checking the thickness here of the pads so as you can see it's pretty thick these have been replaced recently so that's really good um, but yeah just take that off it's it's really good once you're there to kind of check all right so I got my torque wrench which you want it set to 140 if you can see okay some are digital some are not in this case mine's not so set it to 140 and now i'm going to go ahead and show you how to put that rotor back on or the drum and then we'll put the lug nuts on
All right, so new lug nuts are on. It's really important when you do this to make sure you do it in a star pattern. Uh, once again, set your torque wrench to 140 foot-pounds uh, if you have this particular truck. Um, anything that's a 1500 would be 140 foot-pounds. If it's a 2500 or 3500, you, you can do 150. But most of them are all 140. Uh, your owner's manual, sh manual should say as well, um, quote, reminder, do it in a star pattern. All right, now remove your jack stand. And then drop it down, but don't drop it all the way. Just drop it like 90%. And do a retorque. Now just get your caps and put your caps on. These only go on hand tight with a socket. Like I said, just do hand tight on those. Um, show you what 
they look like here. And that's the aftermath. So, those are the old ones. And those are the new ones. Now I gotta do three more. Alright, I am repeating the process for wheel number two, three, and four. All right, so I'm on number three, and I wanted to show you if your jack is too high, like if you've taken too much weight off the ground, it's just gonna spin. So you need to drop it down. But you do wanna have a little bit of weight off the uh, ground when breaking them free. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop it down a little bit, and then I'll be able to pull it off. All right, it's getting a little dark on my end, but I've got the front one off, and right now I'm just checking the brakes inside. Let's see, I'm trying to shine the light in there, doing three or four things at once here. Brake pad looks good, but I wanted to show you this. Uh, I'm just inspecting all the rubber grommets and everything you can see on here. Like, look how bad that rubber is. So. When you have your tires off, doing your lug nuts, just kind of look at everything. You can see that CV axle, the rubber is completely busted. But it's just really a good time to kind of look over everything. Check all your rubber gaskets, rubber, all, all the rubbers, just everywhere. As you can see, I've got a lot of them that are going to need replaced. Hopefully the camera's kind of picking all this stuff up, but other than that, everything else is looking good. So, just thought I'd show you that. All right, guys, we got them all replaced. A uh, couple of side notes. Um, don't forget to retorque your lug nuts after 50 miles. Uh, and also you want to do it periodically after that as well. It's just because you have new paint, so you want the new or the new material on the lug nut to mate properly with the mail or with the wheel so it's just important 50 miles retorque your lug nuts 140 foot pounds uh, or what is listed in your owner's manual um, I, once again I appreciate y'all watching my video thank you if you don't mind commenting uh, any questions you might have or any requests you might have for future videos, uh, comment, like, subscribe. Thank you so much.